Hello, um, me again, and we've got another damp wall. They're struggling with uh, controlling condensation despite being given advice. It, this is a, a converted garage, um, although it's cavity construction, and they've got to turn it into a, a, a studio flat kind of thing. Um, they've got a bedroom, kitchen, and living room at the back. Uh, but on this southwest corner, they've got um, just a lot of damp mold and as I say they can't seem to get rid of it so because it's a south west elevation and it's got that cavity wall injection um, it's, it's always worth having a look inside the cavity especially if they've tried everything with the condensation um, to control it uh, with no luck so this is a new one this is an interesting one on the front obviously it was a garage and they've had it blocked up with um, with brickwork and they put full fill bats, insulation bats in. And this is, I've, I found wet bats. I mean, I don't know if you can see how wet that is. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to wring it out, but, oh, uh, no. But it is very wet on that corner. Uh, which is a new one for me, to be honest. Um, we've had it probably nine years ago uh, where they had full fill insulation and it was loft insulation and that was extremely wet, extremely difficult to extract. Um, but this one here as well has got white wall insulation on this side wall. Now, the last couple of videos, they've been wet, but they haven't been I haven't been able to draw that moisture out when I squeeze it. But here, watch this. You see that? Dripping. Let me pull a bit more out and you might be able to get a better idea. Now, anyone says that it's to do with the, the brickwork or anything, yeah, it's a load of rubbish. This is in good condition. They've kept the painting up to scratch. It's just, just not a good material. Uh, annoys me every time I do this. I know I'm getting paid to remove it, but uh, <laughs> you know they, they've been advised to get a, a chemical damp proof course put in. Uh, that's not necessary. We just need to clear that cavity right below the damp course and um, you know let the cavity do its job so once again if you're thinking about having insulation just I'm, I'm not trying to put you off it I'm just trying to make you aware of what actually can happen especially with white wall um, cavities were designed to stop that moisture tracking across um, there are internal sort of things you can do like insulation back plasterboard um, trouble with that is if you've got like kitchens and bits and pieces then it makes it it harder but uh, at least you get all the cold spots like lintel areas and and things um, wicker mold do the isotherm which is a thin insulation material uh, which is put on with adhesive on the internal wall and then you can plaster over that that's making sort of uh, quite a good progress to be honest uh, so try those things but really try and leave the cavity clear because you just don't want problems like this this is just it's, that's not fair you're meant to be saving people money not costing them money running dehumidifiers and paying for needless things just to try and sort it out thanks for watching guys